Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. So getting back into the farmhouse, you guys give a look over the bodies of the fallen non-doppelgangers, noppelgangers, as we'll call them. That's not the right uh, and you come across a key that looks like the keys that have been stripped off of the farmer's body earlier. Eric, we're live, by the way. Yes. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> So, why does a farmer need this many keys? Unless he's hiding something. <laughs> I just want to state the obvious. Boys, or are, locking are something up. Doors. <laughs> Guy cocks his head and goes, uh, I'm not rightly sure. I've never seen that key before. It must be one of theirs. One of theirs? He not rest to the the, do, the Why would the doppelgangers have gone through all this? I mean, the the mysterious thing. Gray elf. Through all this. <laughs> well, you know, Bessie's the sweetest milk in town, right? Yes. Well, there you go. They wanted to steal your cow. Mm -hmm. I can understand that, honestly. You tried to steal my cow. By the way, 16 gold. Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. Not this for is sale. A random sum. Not for okay. sale, man. Not for sale. Well, all right. <laughs> we did save your lives. Yeah, um, but not for sale. Okay, okay. Did you ever hear the Grails talking about these keys? Do you have any idea what they could be for? I'm not sure, but, but they said they were agents of some some powerful wizard. Interesting. Um, some catch this wizard's name. Magic no. doesn't exist. No, I didn't. Magic Did does exist. I, I mean, they turned into me and my brother. Tell me how magic doesn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> I still don't believe it. Why we saw with our very weird, eyes. It's just weird things happen in the world. Like every time we walk up to a group of people who want to kill us, they fall asleep. Weird things happen. It's just. You can't yeah. explain that. How Jill and the Sombra are never in the same place at the same time. You can't explain that. No. It's inexplicable. Yeah, I don't I don't know, but it's for some some someone wizard down across the, the sea. Key. Did someone write down the doppelganger key on their character sheet? And somebody had the ring from earlier, the key ring, right? I have the, I have the key ring. Okay. The ring of keys. The ring of keys. keys. Did the kids not want the keys back? Or none of the keys were their father's. Uh, do you show them the keys? Actually, I'll pull that out. How come your dad had this many keys? What is there to lock up on a farm aside from your daughters? <laughs> <laughs> the kids go, I, I don't know. Dad, dad was always secretive about his business in town. Maybe that has something to do with that. But where would he have something that needed to be locked up? I don't know. In the where cellar, he, in where the did attic. He go in town. It is. It is. Don't go in there, boys, or unlock any of those things. Room. Not. Not in the house, but he would never let us follow him to his office in town. Boys, we were in the farmer with an office in town. Yeah. Where was this office? I don't know. He would never let us see. You're telling me that Strange. it's you adventurous boys. You never followed your dad secretly into town to see what he was up to. We did once, but he saw us coming and he whooped us. One of the kids points to his clearly broken nose. I got this. He gave you That's a nose? Cool. That's very generous. He broke my nose. <laughs> Ooh. It did not set right. No girls will date me. Listen, I didn't catch your last name. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not why girls won't date you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can definitely figure out where your dad's office is, potentially, with, like, the registrar of the city, if we have your last names. Burton. Burton. All right. Thanks, guys. I actually feel like I remember the Burtons. Like, they were really good, really good customers. Really um, good first. milk. Yeah, really good milk. Um... Yeah, I don't know. He, he apparently, He's supposed to have an office in town, but we've never been able to see it. If those are his keys, they must be for the office, because I've never seen him on him before. When he came back from the office, did he seem a lot happier, more relaxed? 
Uh, Did your mom get upset when he come back from the office? <laughs> no, my mom's dead. Mom died. Oh. I, I already told you, Kizzen, <laughs> I'm your mother now. No, you didn't tell us that. Yes, I did. Remember when I untied you in the basement? Well, uh, you're I, a man. I held you into my bosom. <laughs> <laughs> but you're... I uh, you gently. But you can't do that. You're... That's... No. He's a fat man. He has a bosom. <laughs> Very large bosom. Only like right. four hundred pounds. Bloody bards, let's let's go to town and and find this office. All right, so you guys leave and go back into town. Uh, town's not that far away. You find yourself walking down the middle of a very busy road. People are hustling and bustling all about. There's people pushing past you. There's people sitting on the side of the street selling all sorts of stuff. Chet, is there like a town herald or registrar? Or... As a matter of fact, there is. And my dad knows him really well, but I don't. You know what? His office is, is actually just a couple blocks. We should just totally go over there to the registrar. All right. You head over to the you registrar's won't. office. It is the in registrar. the town hall located right next to the accounting office, and they share a wall that has a door that goes in between the two of them. Right. I'm totally going to run a charisma check on the person at the desk. And what do you say with this charisma check, though? Well, what I really want to say is, hey, you know me, and I'm not going to waste a lot of your time, but a friend of ours uh, apparently lost the keys to his office, uh, last name Burton. Uh, we want to we want to take those keys back to him. That's there. I feel like they're probably important. So oh. could you tell me where his office is? Right, right, right. Uh, they dig through some files. Uh, I think the Burton name uh, has two properties. Well, there's a farmhouse outside of town, and yeah, there should be. Yeah, they're talking to his sons. Great guys. I mean, daughters. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel yeah. like one of those boys is going to grow up to make some great plays. <laughs> uh, and and the the Any office is he yeah yes he he owns the farm himself, um, and the office seems to be co-owned with a, a group of other men. And he starts looking through the list and he starts frowning. He goes, oh yes, uh, some of these men are currently in jail. Do they have names? Yeah. I'm not at liberty to say, but are you sure you boys want to be getting in trouble with these people? <laughs> we well, never get in trouble. We're the bloody bards. Well, or... Trouble's my mother's maiden name. Why are you not at liberty to tell us? Isn't it public record that people are criminals and locked up? Didn't we know that? Uh, are I we mean... discussing small town politics in a fantasy world right now? Because I feel like yeah. we could. You 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 have every right to know who's locked up, and you may visit the prisons, but I cannot tell you the names of the co-owners. Okay. Well, where is paper. where is this office? Uh, it's you, so you can't tell us, but you like if you made like a nodding motion while I was going through the alphabet, <laughs> and I hit the letter that one of their names starts with, like that wouldn't be telling. Can I make an unprecedented reading and writing proficiency, proficiency, proficient, proficiency check to Close read up. upside down the name of the ledger he's looking at? Do it. D20 plus your int. Plus my reading writing. Oh, God. Nope. It's upside down. It's a jumble. Nope. nope. My head's still throbbing from being beaten within an inch of my life. Uh, I, yeah, I, I couldn't maybe give you a nod, but... You know, uh, uh, my my aunt Silver knows uh, someone uh, that might uh, help us Chet. figure this out. So you know that reminds me, Chet. Did I, did I owe you some silver? <laughs> Don't worry about it. What's silver between friends? Well, no, I mean, I, no it, it, it matters. Friends. It matters to me. So I'm just gonna set your silver here so on the desk. Don't forget to take it, Chet. You know I'm what? The silver I owe you there on the desk. I'm sure I I'm won't. I'm gonna slip around the there. side, the to the desk or to the other side of the desk. Mm -hmm. Now you were telling us the location of of this um, of this office. Yes, yes, yes. It's and I'm gonna uh, like, across put my, the. I'm gonna hand on his shoulder and peek over at the ledger. You totally read the names, no problem. 
Uh, okay. He gives you the location of the place. It's across the town square from the town hall and like mm -hmm. down the main drag a little bit, like half a block. So it's right near here. Oh, cool. What are the names? Do they matter? Uh, the names are Dana and John and um, Tina. Tina, John, and Tina. <laughs> I respect your restraint and to use Neil. Not even any last names? <laughs> Eric, Joe, and Neil. There, there are last <laughs> names. Oh, and Rob. <laughs> there are last names. With them. Ryan. Okay. Right. And, all right, so you, you, you tell us this? When we leave. So we leave on our way to... Yes. To the... Okay, okay. At that point, say... after you tell us, I go, no, I forgot something. I'll walk and go... Hey, you know, I happen to know some people, and I'm just wondering. I haven't seen them around lately. What if what's become of them? Dana and Tina and dumb shit. <laughs> the other one, like, I heard they might be in jail. Can you tell us what they're in jail for? Since that's public knowledge, he gives a bit of a chuckle and says, "Why, well, certainly, my good fellow." Oh, wow. uh, and then takes the long. pouch nice. of coins. Um, uh, Dana and fuck, what was the girl's name? Tina. Dana and Tina are currently in jail uh, for armed robbery. Our kind of people. <laughs> really? What did they rob? That's a little armed robbery. Like a bank, and they got away with like millions, and no one knows where it is. A jewelry store. Caught right in the middle of it, sprawled out in the mud. Complete Did any of them get away with the loot? Nope. Jewelry store owners got it. It was all recovered? All recovered. Fuck. Are you sure there weren't any like really valuable gems that weren't recovered? <laughs> um, you know, I, I feel don't like know the story. Might have been, um, I don't know the story personally. I'm just reading what I tell you in the file. Or I'm just telling you what I read in the file. Are, are there you... any rumors that maybe there were things that the jewelry store owner couldn't report? Port were stolen because they were stolen first when he had them, and that well, not with this somebody's... robbery, but you have heard the legend of the lost philosopher's stone, right? The what? I've heard... You know, it, it, I love it so much that I never tire of hearing it. <laughs> One of these jewelry stores in town used to have a uh, a ring that had a shred of a philosopher's stone on it. Uh, now it's not much of a sh not enough of a shred to be very useful to a wizard, which ru rumor says uh, they, these wizards crave philosopher's stones, like they're some sort of drug to them, like speed or something. But wizards could like put together a bunch of these shards, and then it might be useful. I, I look, I don't know. I'm just a I'm just an innkeeper or a a page. But, no, you're not. I'm just a page. I don't know these <laughs> things about great wizards. I thought but you were a clerk. A clerk, a page. I'm, I'm a clerk in training. You know, you keep going, you'll be a whole novel one day. Uh, hmm. That's very nice of you to say. But the apparently apparently the the jewelry store had a shred of the philosopher's stone in one of the rings, and some months back a party of elves came through town and the philosopher's Gray stone elves. went missing. I don't know what that is. I don't either. But normal elves? Um, Normal elves, and then okay. no one could find the elves, and no one could see the stone. And they think the elves stole the stone. Interesting. Elves cannot be trusted. So, hey, wait, didn't you hey, have an elf with you? Hey. <laughs> yeah, that one. He says, nodding at Pat. I know, and I cannot trust him. Okay. Jill, are your ears? He told me something? that these this dress did not make my butt look bad. <laughs> And I know he was just saying that. I think it does. It all. With the PH. <laughs> How does my butt look in these robes? <laughs> the robes are not making your butt look better. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. All right, we have business to attend to. Thank Bye. you very much. All right, you guys bail on him. Most helpful. Okay. And proceed through the city streets until you come to the property. Jill, are you wearing a hat or something that covers your ears? Uh, no, I've got big, thick hair, and then kind of everything's covering up my ears. 
All right, so we reach the office. You reach the office. It is on the second story. You have to actually go into a bar first to get to the office. How does this bar compare to shenanigans? It's a piece of trash. It's really it's my kind of place. Um, that's that's a needless question. Every bar is a poor shadow of shenanigans. Mm-hmm. It's true. This place has like a, a corrugated metal bar that's all rusted out. Um, and the chairs are a little bit broken down. It's kind of odd shaped, not too comfortable. It's kind of empty. There's not enough lighting in here. You can barely see anything. Um, but you do see a staircase in the back, which has none the- of the waitresses have more than like four or five pieces of flare tops. <laughs> It's pretty much, yeah. It's like one on each lapel and then one on the center back. And that's it's just not enough. Uh, but the, the staircase in the back has the address of this of the office. And you guys go up stairs to a room. The staircase continues up. It seems like there's a bar on the bottom floor and then like a series of businesses on each other floor. And you go up to the office. Key goes in, turns, and the office door swings open nice and easily. The five of you get in, although Morton... This is a small door, and you have a lot of trouble getting inside. <laughs> it's it's an effort. There are I look down <laughs> and first, and I work work my way in afterwards. <laughs> you you managed to get inside. <laughs> okay. Here you are in this office. There is a, three tables with four chair, six chairs sitting around them, and. Uh, a, a coat closet in the back. Wait, four like tables and six chairs, did yeah. you say? Four tables and six chairs. Each table like is pressed against a different part of the wall so you can have like four workstations. Oh, okay. I want to explore the first one on the right. Okay. You find candles, you find writing utilities, you find ledgers filled with rows and columns of numbers and names and shit. Uh, yeah. But I can't read. I can. <laughs> I can. I will, I will translate the reading. Wait, Manuel, you can read? I can't read. Okay. I can read. Yeah. Uh, hey, Morton, can you read these papers? Like, I mean, I can read them myself, but, you know, I don't want to be able to find anything interesting about in papers. Uh, so you start digging through these. Some of them read like the writings of a madman. Um, you know, Thomas today the came by the house and he. The madman's diary? Yeah, it's like, you know, Thomas came over today. He seemed angry. We had a conversation about cows and chickens. And then he left. I think he might be on to me. Um, and then, you know, just kind of rambling thoughts of people, notes on all sorts of stuff that doesn't make any sense put together. Uh, it all seems quite insane. The one thing that does seem interesting is you have a... What do you call it? Um, it's kind of like a stat book for what seems to be a cockfighting ring. <laughs> Nice. Uh, oh my god, can we gamble? I don't want to gamble. It has like Gamblers records of which chickens won which battles and that sort of stuff. Can we can I piece together where they're holding the cockfights? Is there like any addresses written down on any of the notes? No. No. There are a lot of papers, but in just like looking about really quickly you can't find anything. <laughs> thing is, I have a feeling that in this medieval fantasy world, literally no one anywhere has a problem with cockfighting. Yeah, yeah why, no one that, seems to is care. Is that an illegal thing? Like that, no, I mean, it, the that gambling on it would be illegal. It's illegal to gamble? Yeah, because it doesn't get his money, man. It's important. Uh, I mean, you would keep... It's illegal to gamble and not report your earnings. <laughs> uh, yeah. And gambling tends to I'm, just be illegal in general. Although, as long as it's like, no one really gives a fuck as long as you're not running like a cockfighting gambling ring. Specifically. So, I mean, the friar was like a scribe or whatever for the church before mm-hmm. his adventuring days. So he's he's right at home here. He's going to sit down in the chair that's way too small for him and start pouring over these notes. Yeah, once, once know how cocks long... get into it, we'll have problems. <laughs> I don't know how long before the party gets bored, but I'm going to set about it. Okay. Trying to make sense. Of uh, it notes. appears that this one chicken named Flamingo is the prize rooster that it has. I mean, he's gone like 4 0. Okay. He's undefeated. In- investment tip, wow. Chip Manning. 
What'd you I, I want to search because we have all these flamingo, keys, and I want to see, you know, are there hidden compartments or anything where things might be hidden? Give me perception checks, everybody. And if you're an elf or a half elf, let me know. Uh, I'm totally not an elf. Totally. Manuel is an elf as well. I am an elf as well. I am a halfling. Because no. you random chances to spot Oh, for doors. fuck's sake. Can I get a decent roll today? No. I don't know. Can you? Can I roll an intelligence check instead to dis- to make any sense of the whatever I'm reading? Sure. Give me an int- int check. 29. So I'm not okay. really searching the room. I'm like reading the papers. So it looks like there's a bunch of insane writings. There's correspondence between people that you can't, you know, they just seem like people writing each other. My fairest Bigsby, I haven't seen you in a fortnight. Blah, blah, blah. Why Love, terror. Uh, all sorts of stuff like that. But the interesting stuff seems to be these ledgers revolving around these cockfights. Um, mm-hmm. There's no location but there are owners mentioned and there's a a second set of papers that you find that is almost the same as the first, but some numbers have been moved and fudged around and it looks like someone has shuffled or hid some money and is like skimming off the top. Hmm. From the other owners or from the... You don't know who's skimming what from whom, but there's clearly some sort of skimming going on. Hmm. I like What does the rest of the party find while I'm lost in in these letters? I'm going to go downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to sit here for a two yeah. copper or whatever they charge. Well, Pat rolled a 24. What did, what did Pat roll? And did the secret what elven roll? Did I find? Yes. Doors? There were secret, secret elven elf. magic. Right. You've got to doors are hard to hide. What from. do my elf eyes see? <laughs> um, your elf eyes see a little compartment behind one of the desks that pulls back to reveal a small hidden uh, safe without a lock, I, a small hidden you know compartment like in the compartment? wall. Mm-hmm. Like how big of the how big of a compartment? I mean, you you open off this little thing, you're like ooh, whoop, and it just pops right out, and it is uh, about face and change yay. wide, by okay. face and change high, by you know, yay deep. Yay. Um, sitting and, inside uh, of it is a ruby, the size ooh. of. A fist. A fist. Of this top. That's still one hell of a ruby. It's one it's hell like, of a ruby. Yeah. You know how much rubies are worth in D&D, Neil? I know how much rubies are worth. 80,000 million dollars. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I slowly put it inside my pack. Surreptitiously. As you will. Write Sick ruby monk. down on your character sheet. Sweet. Did Pat notice anything with his perception check? That's, that's what, what he I notices. Notice. Oh, is that's, that okay? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that. Okay. Did you all say there's like a closet in here? Something like that. I could search. Uh, yes, there's a closet. You go through it. Just has like coats and boots and umbrellas. Okay. I'll announce to the party. Well, it appears that this this farmer was in on some cockfighting. And someone was skimming some money off the top, whether concealing it from the authorities or from the other business partners, I cannot say. There's some shady business going on. Speaking of shady business, and I still the man. You hear footsteps outside in the hallway. Uh, Chet is outside. They come to the door. You know, Chet is outside. Chet's outside? Yeah, I'm drinking. Yeah. I'm drinking, dog. I'm downstairs. Oh, okay, so you're downstairs. You see... Uh, a man walk upstairs. I mean, there's a lot of rooms upstairs, but you do see a person head up there. Oh, yeah. I don't think anything above that. I mean, it's it's upstairs. It's what it's there for. Cool. All right, so you guys hear him outside, and then you hear the hand on the doorknob, some fiddling, and the doorknob, uh, you hear like a, what would sound like a key being put in, key being jingled around. I hide underneath the desk. You don't fit underneath the desk. I hide in a closet. I hide behind behind the desk. Okay. So everyone hides, and the door opens, swings open, and a man steps in. You can't see him other than his uh, boots on the ground as you're like ducking. Is there really room for everyone to hide in this small office? There's not much room as long as he like stands in the doorway. No, he can't see anything. But if he moves into the room, it's all gonna come fall apart. 
Uh, you see his boots, and then there's a, a, sm a shimmer in that area, and his boots kind of like shrink up a little bit, and he strides into the middle of the room and immediately spots Slade Milson, who is doing his best to hide. The sneakiest person gets yeah. spotted first. Have Slade, yeah. call the DM hacks and roll a hide in shadows check. Yeah. You're the only one who actually can hide in this situation. <laughs> hey, that's not true. Or okay. Neil roll a hide in shadows for him or whatever. There's like, there's four desks all pushed against the edges of the room. All we're saying is the closet. I there's nowhere to fucking closet. hide. There's nowhere to hide. That all I we're saying is if he's going to spot yes, someone, he, he should probably spot me or Manuel. Not, Jill, not Jill's the only one that can actually hide. The three of you are all doing your best to hide, and I rolled randomly to decide which one of you was the one spotted because okay. someone was going to be spotted. All right. There's like there's nothing you can do. I mean there's there's you're hiding in an empty room. Boo boo. Uh, and he looks at you and you look at him and you see another one of these gray elves. You son of a bitch. <laughs> there, there's a pause I, as you guys make eye contact. I charge to close the door. Okay. Uh, you guys see Slade get up and run for the door, and we should just roll initiative now. There's enough of, there's few enough that we can do individual initiative. So, roll a d10, and tell me what you're doing, and we'll modify the d10 based on that. All right, eleven, including weapon speed on my quarter staff. I don't okay. know if I'm going to be using it, but I'm clutching it God. just in case. Well, Pat and okay. Rob, you guys are going last. <laughs> Uh, Slade, what are you doing? And give me a d10 for initiative plus, whatever you're doing. Uh, running for the door, but I ha I'm pulling out my sword as well. Okay. And Running for the door without doing anything to give him an attack of opportunity. He's standing next to the door. That's literally oh, impossible. Uh, you can withdraw. You can like circle strafe around him and withdraw past him, right? Okay. He goes or first he anyway. Uh, as Slade goes for the door... Jump while you're running. Go faster. As Slade goes for the door, he goes to hit Slade and misses. He just, like, reaches out to grab you, completely misses. You go past him. He doesn't have a weapon, so there's no opportunity attack. And you get to the door, Slade. No, Morton Bixby goes first. I'm um, Downstairs, Chet, you hear the sounds of people, like, being pushed around. Yeah, it, I was going to say, I heard rowdy. the door slam, <laughs> at the very least. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm getting up. I'm going. Uh, although I'm last, I assume, at the yeah, very least. Yeah, you'll pull in at the very end. Oh, wait. Right. But I'm headed there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I stand up, I see this gray elf, and I go, ah! <laughs> And flail wildly with my quarterstaff rolling an 18. Uh, you crack this creature across the body. Is, that's a crit, isn't it? That is not a crit. Oh, they've got, like, magic AC in this form. For one point of damage. Uh, the door was shut by Slade. Uh, Slate has not gotten there yet. Yeah, no, I'm like last. But there's no way to like for me to get out the door. No, I mean you you get stuck in the door. <laughs> so I thwack him with the quarterstaff and then immediately duck back behind the desk. Uh, Rob and Pat, what are you guys doing? Oh, uh, I should have added plus five to my roll since I okay. want to attack. And Rob, what are you doing? I'm going to leap out with my short bow. I'm going to point my short bow and say. I know what you're thinking right now. You fire one arrow or one. <laughs> and in all the confusion, I kind of lost track myself. So you got to ask yourself, <laughs> do you feel lucky? Do Pat, you, punk? Pat, just stab him, please. Pat, go. I move to stab him. Uh, you completely miss. And the short sword. The short well, sword I, cuts I, him I, I'm going to shoot. You mm. roll me some damage. Rob, give me your shot. Slade, you shut the door. You hit him, Rob. You hit him a second 19. time. Wait, wait. Not, I forget. Do you, in, in second edition, do arrows or bows fire twice still? They yes. do fire twice. Once on your initiative okay. and once at the end of the round. Yeah. Okay. So well, we'll I'm deal the, the second the damage at the very end. But give me uh, the first D6. Not D8. Not D8s? You don't have sheaf arrows? No, he's a short bow. Yeah. Oh. Um, Slade, you get to the door and shut it. Do I have time enough to attack? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, oh. yeah there's room. There's room. You, you can get a, a back attack on this guy. Back attack? Awesome. Oh, fuck me. Give me a saving throw <laughs> for Steph. 
shit. All right, you go to back attack him, get knocked off balance, fall down, and hit your head on the door. Uh, you don't Ow. take any damage, but your initiative is delayed till last next round because you're like recovering from whacking your head. <sighs> God damn it! Uh, at the very you end, Chet nice. comes upstairs and throws open the door. Actually, not the very end. The creature goes first, and the it creature went very first. Yeah, the creature was the very first. Oh, you're right. Do. Nope. Yeah. Then yep. uh, Chet comes up. Rob fires his second arrow, which hits, doing five damage. And Chet, you burst into this room. It's really crowded. There's all four of your friends in here, and they're all like beating on this guy, this, this gray swings. elf. Chet always swings in a fight. Okay. He thinks, doesn't think twice. You Swing. shove past Slade and go, I'm getting in her. And you make a roll to hit with back attack, so plus two to hit. With your, what are you using? A big ass club? Is that it? Uh, is that I got my, I got my axe, man. Right, specialized axe. axe. But plus one for that as well, right? Yes. So it's twenty plus three. Yes. Fifteen. Eh. Crack him in the back. Back crack. Back crack mm. uh, do I roll damage for that? Please do. How much? I think it's going to be a D eight plus two because you have like twelve strength, right? Yeah. Yeah. D eight plus two. Nine. Nice. Um, that's right. He had an 18, and he put it into charisma instead of strength. Everybody. <laughs> and I think that, that was the right decision. That, that has worked out that's so awesome. well for us. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. perfect. it's perfect. Never look back. That was the right decision. Mm -hmm. No regret. All right, this guy takes the blow, and he is badly wounded. He's cut from all sides, and at the and after all these attacks happen, he goes, "Wait, wait." Uh, parlay! Parlay! <laughs> Get out of here, Frenchie. Initiative for next round. You know, he, he could just be like a doppelganger accountant. I mean, are we <laughs> that like every doppelganger is evilly plotting to take over the world? Maybe some of them just, you know, want to make some money, take it home, feed their doppel babies. You know, yeah, read the paper. Clearly, never worked in Washington D.C. I'll stand big, up from big the desk. Watch some, you know, Game of Thrones or something. Is all this? Maybe that's all this one wants. All right, Morton, you go first. I stand up from behind the desk and ready in action to smack him if he does anything aggressive, if he okay. makes an attack, or if he moves. And I say, "All right, you gray elf, lay down your weapons." Realize he holds he up his hands. Weapons. No weapons. Why were you? Tr why were your friends trying to kill us? I don't know what my companions were up to. That's none of my business. I was just simply here to track down Bessie. Cow? My cow? My cow? <laughs> well, I don't know oh. whose cow it is. Well, I do know whose cow it is now, but I'm and I'm pretty sure it's none of yours. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it's not yours either. Well, no, it's not mine. I'm retrieving it for a client on the other What's continent. What's so important about Bessie? She produces the best milk. Yeah. That we found. I, I've, I've it's spent, pretty good. spent the last year searching for the best milk cow in the world, and Bessie is my favorite. And my master told me well, to retrieve you can't Bessie. Have her. Tell us about the Philosopher's Stone. Aren't those bits of raw uh, bits of the staff that runs through the world that have chipped off and fallen to the land? It is true. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know about the philosopher. Stop so look, telling I'm just us what everyone knows and tell us what's really going on. <laughs> I work for a man. He lives on the other side, on the other continent, uh, and he wants me to bring the best cow back to him. And Bessie is that cow. What's his name? He's a wizard that lives uh, like thousands he's of miles away from you. He's a goddamn wizard? <laughs> yeah, he's a wizard. Exist. Is his name Harry? He kind of slowly <laughs> blinks his eyes and his shape changes to look like Chet. And now it's <laughs> Chet standing in the middle right, of the room. I'm going to smack him with my, with my quarterstaff. Roll the hit. Um, not going to give you surprise, though. 13. That is... In oh, I, he's in Chet form, so that is a hit. Chet's got 16 AC. Another one point of damage. He collapses so he didn't turn to into one. Your armor. He just turned into you. Probably thought he had one life left. 
No, no, he collapses to his knees, still alive. Chet, you had armor on? Uh, yeah. What's your armor class? 16. I had the second highest behind Raylene. Shit, does, do they include weapons and eh, armor? I think so. It, it probably just looks like it. It doesn't, I mean, it's not, yeah. it's not a big deal. Let's just roll with it. Yeah, I don't think it does include the armor. It doesn't include the armor, we'll say. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he collapses to the ground. None of that doppelganging. Wait, so he—he he, <laughs> it was actually a KO, or that? No, was no, it? no. Like he's on one knee on the ground, but he's like in, like he's badly hurt. It's flavor. It doesn't. Yeah. He's yeah. hurt. None of, none of those tricks. I've back just, I'm just. True form, demon. He shifts back. I, I'm no demon. I'm no demon. I'm a doppelganger. Doppelganger. Ooh. Stop telling us things we don't the same thing. They both start with D. He's German, yeah. Yeah. You keep telling us things that we already totally knew. <laughs> you knew about Bessie? How'd you know about Bessie? We've tasted well, her Bessie is our cow. Straight like, from the teat. She's not your cow. She's oh, the Burton's cow. Well, you no, know, it's Martha's know. cow. That it's milk is straight from the All Mother's teat. <laughs> then why would your friends have promised us the cow if that was all they were after I don't know why don't you ask them they're dead they're dead yeah they kind of yes. tried to kill yeah, us yeah we sort of killed them well we killed one La, La Sombra that guy is so cool <laughs> isn't he is pieces. what's La Sombra yeah you haven't heard of La Sombra <laughs> Who's the There's a song. Tell me the song. <laughs> I start tapping my my staff on the ground. All right, we burst into song. song. I do anyway. A sombra, Red. priestess of the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop there. In the end, they all turn out to be cows, just like an earthworm film. It'd be funny. Okay. <laughs> Spoilers. All this shape shifting stuff is getting to Slade's head. Uh, all right, so. How important is this cow to your master? And what would you give us to help you acquire it? I mean, since it is our cow and all. Bessie is a sacred cow. I cannot send it back to this. Oh, no, no, no. Morton, Morton, we're not actually going to leave it there. But this guy seems pretty important, you know? Like, we should get to know him. We should make a connection. We have the financial resources to offer you more than is fair. Uh, we offered the same to Mr. Burton. And he said Bessie was not for sale. And uh, my companions were going to try and persuade him otherwise. They murdered him. And yeah. we murdered them back. Well, it sounds it like so that's all fair now. Hard. Uh, but as long as he's murdered, who owns the cow? And can we buy it from them? We own the cow, and Bessie is not for sale. I'll give you 100 <laughs> gold for her. Not for sale, man. Who could imagine selling such a magnificent cow? All right. All right. Not for is sale. It, I will have to go just find the second best cow and pray that my master never hears about Bessie. Uh, do me a favor and don't export any of her milk overseas. Probably wouldn't keep anyway. I Where, no what's your master's address so we can like intercept the mail? It lowers its gaze at you and just kind of... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I laugh before at you leave. What is What is the name of your master? Doesn't it's matter. Mary. He's some wizard, wizard overseas that you've never heard of. Well, we'll never have heard of him if you don't tell so us. So why not? Wait, why were you coming on up here? I was coming back to see if there was any information that we had missed about the cockfights. Uh, no. If your friends were already in there, I mean, it's not like the cow was hidden somewhere. The cow was right on the farm in plain sight. I was looking for what how you say leverage. Were you imagining? We're looking for leverage. Any sort of, maybe he had some mistress or something that we could frame his wife with, or you know, blackmail him with. So he, you know, about his wife. His something wife's like that. dead. His wife's dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm their mother now. <laughs> well, that's disturbing on many levels. Um, <laughs> but look, oh, if you're not going to sell their own mother. <laughs> look, I know when I've been beat. If you're not going to sell Bessie, then you're not going to sell Bessie, and I'm just going to go, and that's that. I'll sell Bessie for two hundred gold. It doesn't sound like you own Bessie. I <laughs> we technically all own Bessie. And I'll so give her to you for 200 gold. We'll sell her to you. 
200 gold? 200 gold. Sounds about right. Oh. Bessie's priceless. Have you tasted her milk? I know. I oh, hand I my, my milk skin across from the teeth to, to chat. Try again. R remind your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you Listen, you can just pay us right now. You can pay us up front and then go talk to Burton's sons, and they're going to give you Bessie. You know, they're holding her. They're keeping her nice and, and well right now. Well, so. come with me to their house. It's it's only a few no, blocks No, see, we have to get back to the bar. Like, earlier, one of my friends upset Desmond, and shenanigans is really important to us. So, actually, we're just going to stop there and like be so... I am not so yourself. stupid. I just go by yourself. I, w I didn't just fall off, the, fall off the turnip truck, you know. I didn't get here by way of barge. You kind of look like you did. Your head's a little oblong. You look just as stupid to me as That's I look to racist. you. Wow. Look at you. You've got like rolls and rolls of flesh coming off of you. How do you even support that mass? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Bury your head in my bosom. And I attempt to forcibly force. I, 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 whatever. You, you I'm force go him to motorbike you. Yes. I'm going to go downstairs and grab a nail and I walk away. Okay. Slade's got the right idea. I'm going to roll with him. Okay, you guys. Are we really downstairs. just gonna let this demon free? I'm, I'm not you, a demon. You have it in control in your bosom. <laughs> as as I notice Chet following me, I'm like, "What are you doing, dude? This is just a play." All right. I don't let the let the gray elf out of my embrace. I ask him, "Have have you accepted Martha as as your true mother?" Martha is the mother of all savior? creatures of the world. Yes. Yes. This is fact. I guess you are not an abomination. As I as I hear this religious talk in the distance, I turn around and start sneakily approaching. Okay, so you get halfway down the staircase, then turn back up and start sneaking back in. Yes. Uh, the creature who you I I... who didn't even see you leave because his back was to you does not see you re-enter. Cool. I have my long sword drawn and I go for a backstab. Roll You're halfling with a long sword. Yep. Don't worry about it. It's... It works. <laughs> you give me a roll to hit. Ten. Plus, yeah, plus any bonuses plus for, two surprise for back. back I would say four for surprise. That's 24. Uh, actually, he's in... I'm sorry, yeah, 14. He's in... No, that doesn't That doesn't hit. What? Nope, his armor class is 15. I That's fucked, son of a I, bitch. I screwed you over. I forced him back into doppelganged form. So you go to slash him, and you like cut him. You graze him across the side. Not enough to actually do any damage, but... He yelps with a scream, pushes into Morton Bixby. Morton Bixby, I, give I me an opposed strength I check. Closer. You didn't What's see that? this coming. Give me a, an opposed strength check. Who? Me? Who? Yeah, you. Could it be then? Who? Who? Knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> an opposed, wait, is he trying to escape my grasp? No, he's being. He got stabbed from behind or when slashed from behind, him, so he's I, trying I, to push I past him you. close and tight. I cradle his head in my bosom. Okay. Uh, he kiss. doesn't manage. <laughs> Slade, do not do not hurt hurt our friend. Friend, he was gonna kill us, and now he's gonna try to kill Burton boys, and he might have gold. Slash. Wait, wait. When was he gonna try to kill us? I don't care. He's he about walked into a room. We attacked him. Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, I'm glad that you pointed that out because I've been wanting to bring that up, and I just felt a little <laughs> awkward about it. So. <laughs> You know, thank you for addressing the elephant in the room. You guys did attack me. This is the office of a dead man. Shift. What are you doing here? There's also three live men. Well, two live men and one live woman that own this office. In jail. Are you Cindy or Tina or... No. Other? No, Dana. Yeah, sure. I can't remember their names. Dana, <laughs> Tina, Tina, Dana, and other. Dana, and Tina, and... Dana, Dana Tina, and, and John. John, but, I mean, John what's other. the benefit of keeping this guy alive? It would be wrong to kill me. <laughs> he tries <laughs> like to, to knock off your arms off him so you'll stop hugging him, Ryan. He's like, me? Uh, I guess we can just keep rolling opposed strength checks. I mean, he's not like roll... trying to force it, but he's doing the like, okay, let me go now. No, yeah. I, <laughs> I do not. I continue hugging. He lets you hug him then. <laughs> But, and I was just like, I he has he, I forced him to inspect the roles that he was criticizing earlier. Uh, oh. <laughs> they are inspected very very closely. Okay. Well, we appear to have reached an impasse. Just let me go. 
Unless you're going to murder me, in which case, just murder me. I must do one or the other. Martha as your mother. Wait, 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 wait. Chet loves a good cockfight. Tell us where that is. Oh, the cockfighting? Yeah, I can yeah, show you. Yeah, man. It's, it's in the basement here. Here? Yeah, go downstairs. There's a, there's a basement behind the bar. You got to tell the innkeeper or the barman, uh, just tell him Rat Cleaver and he'll let you in. Rat cleaver. That's the, it's oh, the wait code a word. That flamingo is a hell of a cock. <laughs> now that oh, I think about it. Well, I was looking at the, the ledger. It looks like flamingo is the one. Yeah. Uh, the odds on her are still pretty low, which makes me think that there might be some racketeering involved. Also, if you look at the sixth column on the third page, a lot of flamingo's <laughs> winnings haven't been reported. Hold I think on. Someone... Hold on. Wait, you first you off, have... you're insulting you know me. All this? I can't read. Second, I went to shut the door behind you, and you swung at me first. That was not us starting a fight, and I remember this. I now. want to punch you, not you. Kill have a you. sword out, and you slashed at he me. He doesn't have a sword in his hands. Well, not yes, on him at all. Sword. He had no oh. sword. He went to punch me. He went to punch you. One hundred percent of the swords owned in that room were ours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a monopoly on sword. <laughs> How do you know all this about the ledgers and about? Because I was in here earlier. I came back to look for more clues, but I, I looked at the 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 tables on the cockfights. Wait, you you were looking for clues? I was looking for <laughs> clues as to where Bessie could be found or how we I could... look for clues like all the time. <laughs> well, I, I don't think there's any cause for us to be angry with each other. We should be celebrating no, together. Yeah, let's That's all go see a cockfight. Cock yeah. The cockfight cock starts in half an hour, but if you let me change back into my, my human shape, I know that's going to piss you off there, big guy. But you, I you can get change. the best drinks. I, I unhug him. Your current uh -huh. form is a little bit unnerving. He shape Honestly, changes Honestly, you the... look really good as me. You should go back to that. <laughs> uh, hold God. on, I need to be this other yeah, half-elf. Who are you? He shape changes into a half-elf and goes, uh, meet me downstairs in the basement. Tell them Rat Cleaver I will have these fancy drinks that they call margaritas ready for us down there. <laughs> They're made with crushed ice and, and some delicious. strange agave chimichangas? fluid. Please tell me there's chimichangas. Chimney, chimney and that, margaritas, you gotta get chimichangas with them and then you have a good time. This place does a good deep fried chihuahua if you'd like some of that. Close enough. <laughs> good. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Uh, you guys head downstairs, have some fried chihuahua and some margaritas, and about half an hour later, the cockfighting starts. If you guys would like to make, make some bets, let me know. Otherwise, we'll just end it here. Honestly, I hear that flamingo is the hotness. I'll put a gold on flamingo. Five gold on flamingo. I'll put a gold on the other dude. <laughs> okay. I have sort of a gambling problem. So... I, I don't approve of this. I think this is a cruelty animal, so I'm going to go up and order a chicken sandwich. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, let's see. Flamingo wins. Hooray! Hooray! Whoever Son bet on Flamingo me. gets uh, an additional 50% of whatever they bet, and Ooh. those that bet against Flamingo lose it all. Good thing I only bet gold. Slade, you cannot hold on to money, man. I try not to. I only <laughs> use it to buy cool things. I think Jill he continues to sip from his milk skin and just, just enjoys the festivities. Jill, as you go upstairs, uh, kind of with a disturbed look on your face, you see one of the couple of the other uh, in proprietor, not proprietors, um, patrons of the inn, kind of giving you a knowing look, like, uh, and they like wave you over to the table and kind of mutter in hushed tones about like, yeah, this place is kind of skeezy, isn't it? Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. I mean, my companions seem totally at home here. Yeah. Your friends are strange. Do you know of a, a better bar in town? We're, we're travelers here. <laughs> Do I know a better bar in town? <laughs> Everybody knows a better bar in town, and that bar is shenanigans. All right, and that's it for you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hey. Where nobody knows your name. I don't know. The song.